Let's talk about it. the camera on the lock screen of your iPad. Can you disable it? How can you limit or manage it? Let's get into it right now. So you should know a couple of different things. So if you open up the settings of your iPad or iPhone for that matter, and then you need to head over to the settings uh, as you are in here and then find the uh, touch ID and passcode or face ID and passcode, depending on your iPad. So when you get in here, just authenticate yourself by typing in yours and then you have the option to see what is available during the locked state on the lock screen. So you have the ability to, for example, limit the control center or some other things like, uh, you know, the some different access to different things in here, but there is no particular button for the camera and the swiping left will likely still be available. However, you can still disable it, but it will require you to disable the camera system wide, which is probably not an ideal option, but it's going to work for what you're trying to achieve. So essentially, you can open up the settings as well and then head over to the screen time section. In the screen time, you can set it up if you don't have it already, but if you do, you can find the content and privacy restrictions. And when you get inside, you can essentially manage what it gets allowed on your iPad and whatnot. So turn it on and then in the allowed apps and feature, you have the camera, which you can disable it, which means that it's just not going to work on your iPad as long as it's like disabled within the setting. So this means that it will also not be triggered from the lock screen. The downside is that whenever you want to take a photo, then, you know, you have to re-enable it in the settings again before you can. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a process, but these are the options. So, I can just show it to you how it works. Anyways, that's going to be about it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'm going to catch you in the next tutorial.